What's up everybody, it's your boy Dr. Corey here and I'm going to take you through an awesome chest workout using the Katsu Cycle 2.0. We're going to band the arms, we're going to do a quick warm up to prime up your pushing muscles for that horizontal press and then we're going to put the bands on the legs and I'm going to show you how to do an awesome push up workout with the bands on your legs while you're burning calories, while you're just getting lean, mean and explosive. So stay tuned, check this out. Alright guys, so we're going to start with a little bit of a warm up. Now I like to use a spin bike, but if you don't have a spin bike, then you can jog in place, you can go for a walk, you can march, you can jump rope, you can do whatever you can to get some sort of balanced warm up going. But you really want to try to get your whole body sort of kind of in the game, get your heart pumping a little bit. So whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Again, I like to use the old spin bike because the bike is easy on my hips. And I can get it going while I set up my cycle. I'm going to set my watch here to keep track of time. Take the cycle. We're going to connect the tubes. Strapping the band on the left side. So I got the hose connected, bands connected. Feels good. Feels like it's in a good place. <sighs> I'm on the bike already. It was a little, a little starting a little heavy here for me. <clears throat> All right. Ah, putting the band on the right side. So, today we're gonna focus more of a pushing chest workout. So, I always wanna start with something to kinda get your heart rate going. Again, some sort of light cardio. But I don't wanna exhaust myself doing the cardio. I just wanna get some blood flowing. And Cassie's great. We're gonna do pro, low, hit start. On the old stopwatch, just so I can keep track of time. All right, let's see, let's change songs. That songs lame. Okay, so my legs are cycling through the actual spin cycle while my arms are cycling through the katsu cycle. Ah, get these out of the way. And while the cycle is running, just going through light exercises first, right? So at first, all you're doing is squeezing your hands, moving your elbows, pumping those arms, squeeze them tight, squeeze them open. What I mean is when you extend that elbow, you really work your tricep. That's the prime mover for elbow extension. So just push out, squeeze it. Pull it in, squeeze the bicep. Push it out, squeeze the tricep. You can alternate like you're running. Almost like to <laughs> imagine that I'm running on a bike. Going so fast. All right, how are we doing here? So we're doing more of a chest, shoulder-ish sort of workout. So again, I'm gonna go a little of these banded up and overs. This is a good way to really get the little stabilizers in your shoulders going. When you're pushing weight, you want really good shoulder stability, coordination between those upper back muscles. So everybody's on the same page. So you can push. If you just try to muscle through and push, you're gonna grind your bones in your shoulder. You're gonna flare up any sort of impingement. You guys have ever heard the term subacromial impingement? Well, if you don't properly engage your entire shoulder girdle for pushing exercises, then you're really gonna get that shoulder impingement. And that's just gonna slowly cut through that supraspinatus, that upper rotator cuff muscle. You're just gonna hate life. You won't be able to reach up, take anything off the shelf. Okay, so that's about two minutes on this sucker. And again, whoo, I'm wearing a sock for good. Toss that to the side. Got my home gym here. So I gotta constantly organize what's going on. Now, again, like I said, make sure you warm up your back too. We're doing chest, but you also want to fire up those shoulder blades. You've got 17 attachments around each scapula. You need to wake them up. Wake them up. Wake them up. Where are we at? So we almost like five. We're gonna just do some light row. Okay, so got the T-Rex, about waist level, a little bit lower. Just 
Just lean back and pull. So nice and light. I'm starting at about, I don't know, what is that, about 45 degrees? My body to the floor and pulling. If you want to start a little bit higher, it's gonna be a little bit easier. That's fine. A little bit lower, a little bit harder. And you're just going through a thumbs up, a couple pulls, palms, a couple pulls, up high, a couple pulls. I'm just kind of going around the clock. So think, what is that? One and 11, then we got two and 10, then we got three and nine, then we got four and eight, looking at a clock in my head, we got five and seven. So five and seven, four and eight, three and nine, 10 and two, 11 and one. All right, good. So just get a few of those going in there, get those muscles around the shoulder blade, worked up, ready to go. Always want to get abs in the game. So I generally start off all of my workouts with some sort of rowing motion, but also some sort of anti-extension motion. Okay, so we on cycle number seven. So I'm going into the rollout. So TRX, same about mid-thigh-ish. I didn't change it from those rows. Adjust my feet. I'm just sinking out into that row. Sink out into the row. Into the row. Sink out into the row. Sink out into the row. Sink out into the row. Just a few of those. Again, we're just trying to wake up and engage those muscles. I'm not trying to exhaust them. I'm not trying to wear them out. This is the warm up. This isn't the finisher, the closer, the working set. Warm up. Activate. Then focus on what you want to do. Then move on with your life. Simple as that, right? So, we're gonna cycle eight. We're gonna do another cycle just for demonstration purposes. But what I wanna show for you is doing single arm overhead press motion. So, using a kettlebell is pretty good. You can use a dumbbell. You can use whatever you want. The main thing is, is that you're going into this single arm pressing motion. And as you go up and down, you're gonna let that palm roll in and out. So that was the end of the first cycle. I'm going to show you guys how to do some pressing primers. So stay tuned and we'll get through that next. Check it out.